What's going on, everybody? Hope everyone is having a good um, Tuesday morning. Uh, me and my wife took a little extra day off uh, to go with the Memorial Day weekend. So hope you all had a great weekend. But uh, just wanted to hop on here and uh, share a dream that the Lord gave me. Uh, I believe this was, I think it was either Thursday night or Friday night. Um, so in this dream, um, I was in my backyard and, uh, see if y'all can see my backyard from here. I was in my backyard, um, and I looked up in the sky. I felt compelled in a dream, like, you know, like look up and I looked up and I can see like the earth, you know, sometimes dreams can be like, you know, it's kind of weird. Like, I'm like, what in the world? But I can see the earth in this dream. And I'm looking like, man, but I'm standing on the earth. Like, how, like, I'm on earth. How am I looking up in the sky and I'm seeing the earth? Like, you know how, like, we can look up and, you know, like, see the sun and the moon and stuff. And um, so I'm looking up and I'm looking at the earth. And then I began to see these missiles launch, right? And I'm, I'm standing in, in the backyard, I'm watching this, and I remember telling my wife, like, man, like, look, like, it, it looks like these missiles are about to hit the earth. But yet, here me me and her are standing in the backyard, and we're watching this, like, looking at the earth from the earth. I know it sounds weird, but just bear with me. So these we see all of these missiles launching in the air, right? Nukes or whatever. And they begin to hit. And I just began to see fire come over the earth about, I say it was probably about one third of the earth that was burning up. And I mean, missiles launching from all directions, just, just hitting boom, 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 boom. Right. And, uh, I woke up and I was just asking the Lord, like, why did I dream that? Right. You know, church, we got to pray um, just for the times that we're living in, right? We got to pray that, number one, that we're truly, what we have in the Lord is just, it's, it's legit, if I can word it that way. We got to really be, um, the Bible talks about to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, right? We better be sure that we didn't encounter a person as my pastor were, as my pastor will often say that, you know, we don't hopefully we didn't encounter a preacher. We didn't encounter a good church, a good service, a uh, good service. Hopefully we truly have encountered the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth and the life. Right. And. You know. I feel like what the Lord was sharing to me, sharing with me when I woke up, is just a sense of urgency, right? Um, you know, in America, it's real easy to be comfortable. It's real easy to become complacent. Um, and, you know, we don't think things like a nuke or war can happen here and please like join with me in prayer like i don't want to see nukes nowhere right i don't want no nowhere to be hit by a nuke right um even the the, the worst places on earth right i don't i don't want to see that but at the same time i feel like in america we have that we would never boldly say this but i feel like we have that mindset of oh that can't happen here uh, America can't be invaded. Uh, America can't be nuked. Oh, uh, it ain't terror. It, it's not terrorists who then came in through the border and secretly could be planning an attack. Nah, not not in America. That's not possible. And number one, judgment starts in the house of God, church. So we need to. We want to see revival in America, and we should want to. We should want to see our nation revive, but the church needs to be revived right it's sad that it's a split not only is it civil war in america i feel like it's civil war in the church because 
you have those who's living for the Lord on fire for the Lord. I'm going to break it down in three camps. You have those who's living for the Lord on fire for the Lord. Then you have those who have allowed culture to invade and they kind of live in this Kool-Aid watered down version of, oh, you know, God is love and he understands what he is love and he understands, but he's still holy. Right. So you got that camp. And then you got this middle camp that at one point, you know, OK, I'm going to rock with the people over here that want to burn for God. That's trying to burn for God. That's trying to live a truly biblical lifestyle. But then let me go rock with. I don't want to offend the people on this side. So let me rock with them a little bit. Um, and, you know. Church, we, we just we got it. We got we to gotta wake up. And. If those times are upon us. What I drink, if they are. If they are knocking on the door, right? Revelations chapter six, I believe, with the. Um, first seals being torn, you know, the rider on the white, white horse and red horse and the black horse and the pale horse, right? The rider on the rare, red horse represents war. If we are upon, if those times are here, man, church, we, we got We got to wake up. This is not a, a video for fear. This is a call for us to go deeper. This is a call for us to take inventory to look in that spiritual mirror and be like, man, what do I need to lay down to the Lord? What areas am I taking the Lord's name in vain? How many times have I said, Lord, forgive me for this or that, but I go back to it, right? We, we need to take inventory of ourselves. I need to take inventory, right? This is for me too. And we just, we just better really be in love with the Lord. You know, I know it seemed like I'm rambling, but we better, what we have with him better be real. It better be legit. Uh, it was a pastor in the Ukraine. Excuse me. It was a pastor in the Ukraine right as when Russia uh, invaded. And he said, you know, the sirens started going off and, you know, missiles hitting everywhere, this and that. And he said at that moment, pretty much, you will know what you have with the Lord is real once all of, once all of the counterfeits are taken away. What he was saying was the moment your nine to five is taken, your internet gone, your heat and your air gone, your comfortable way of living instantly, just overnight is gone. What you have with the Lord in those moments is real. And like he said, that would that would show if we really love the Lord. And once again, I'm going to say this before I end this video. I'm not saying I want to see these things, you know, but I just feel like in America that we don't think it can happen. So um, I just want to pray for us before I end it. Father, I just pray, God, first and foremost, Lord, I pray over the American church, God, that we would, man, get back to our first love, like you told, uh, I forget what church it was in the book of Revelations, Lord. Um, but that message is to the church in general, right, to the church today. I pray that we would get back to our first love, God. That's you. I, Jesus, I pray that we would do the things we did at first when we was first saved, Lord. Just being on fire, getting up early in the morning to spend time with you, getting lost in the scripture, just keeping that all of you, God. I pray that we would get back to that, Lord. And Father, I pray um, for those who clicked on this video, Lord, and um, they don't know you, God. I pray uh, that they would taste and see that you're good. God, I pray that hearts would be softened for those who clicked on clicked on this video who don't know you. That hearts would be softened, um, that it would be true repentance, Lord. I pray that um the words that you're leading me to, to speak and pray on this video, God, would touch someone's heart and that they would surrender their life to you, Jesus, and that they would get plugged into a church that preaches the truth, who um, that's a King David church, that I'm going to be honest to my own harm. Even if culture rise up against me, Lord, I'm going to preach the truth. I'm going to live the truth. And Father, I pray that if we if these times are upon us as far as 
potential missiles or terror attacks or nukes. Lord, God, I pray, number one, Lord, I, I pray, man, just that these things can be deterred and that they won't happen, God. And um, But, Lord, if, if they are, if, they, if these times are coming, God, and if it's hitting in our lifetime, God, I pray that the American church, that we would, in those moments, in the midst of something terrible happen, that we don't have a, uh, bunker down. Let me lock myself in my house with my with my survival food kit, and just stay. Let let me just ride this thing out. No, God, I pray that if these times are upon us, Lord, that instead that we would go out equipped as your church, and that we would go out, Lord, and evangelize. That we would go out and share the gospel because, Lord, we know that when disasters and things hit lord that people's hearts are more more sensitive more more soft to receive or just like the ground and the soil once it rains right or um i'm butchering this lord i ain't no farmer but it's certain things that's got to happen for the ground to be soft so that it can receive the seed god and i just pray that if these moments are upon us and they hit that the church don't if I can word it this way, Lord, cower away, but that we would go out and be on the front lines. We should be living that anyway, Lord, daily. It shouldn't take some type of disaster or something to happen. But, Lord, if that do happen, I pray that we would be the first responders out on street corners, going to our neighbors and just sharing the gospel, praying for people, leading people to you, Lord. I just thank you, Jesus. You're awesome. You're beautiful. You're wonderful, Lord. You're, you're wonderful, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' name, amen. So, uh, love you all. I pray that this video um, bless you. I pray that it encourage you. Like I said, um, not trying to spread fear, just releasing what I felt like the Lord showed me in that dream. Um, and I'm not date setting. I'm not saying, please don't take this video. Oh, America is going to get nuked. I'm not saying that. I'm not by no means but just felt led to share the dream i had you know if more than anything i think it's a wake-up call and urgency for us to live holy so god bless y'all till next time